humanity. It's June 11, 2018, and it's Mondays with Bev and Paul, and guess what? My name's Paul. And I'm Bev. Yes, siree, and we are in the mountains of Colorado because we are hotter than Hades <laughs> over here in Tucson. Oh, <laughs> I'm you loving know, that white. It's not too bad in the morning. It no. feels like this. It's 60. We had 60 something. Yeah, it's 60 still nice morning. in the morning. Yes. And then come 3 o'clock at 105, Ooh. 6, 7, and 8. Ooh. It's, it's summer. So we just thought we'd give you a little refreshment here yes. today. Do we feel refreshed? Because right. if we do, we can go back to our center. Yeah. Boom. There we are. Wow. That is our That's center. Quick. Yes. There we are. So. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, Paul. And here we are. we got a great little show today. We're going to talk about how is BioTouch an art form? Well. Interesting question. Yes. And we'll tell you how we came up with that one. But first, we want to share with you a couple things. We had a certification class. It is uh, wonderful. It's, of course, the first weekend. There's two weekends. We do uh, successive weekends. And um, we just had our first weekend. So. We had two wonderful ladies who, yes. I mean, just the two of them makes so much energy going on. Oh. Sarah and uh, Allison. And they're it's, just awesome. It's great. And uh, Rose showed up to help us. She showed up the first day. Got so excited she came back for a second I, day. <laughs> that was quite a treat for us. So thank you, Rose. Yes, you were you. awesome. You know, And the ladies just loved I working know. on it. They really did. Yeah. It, it was great. Yeah. So we also had another thing happen uh, this past week, right after the show last week. We went to Germany via Zoom. Yeah. And uh, we got together with Michaela to do uh, two of our interns' final point check. It was awesome. These people had it down. And we went through the whole program, t practiced all the points, had them. T we tested them on all the points. Yeah. And they did amazingly well. And so at the end of it, we gave them a certificate. We had already given it to, to Michaela. Michaela. And so we want to share with you what happened on that moment <laughs> that we gave them this certificate. So this is Anka and Barbara. Okay. Oh. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. I mean, that's just a great little. They, they were clip. Uh, nervous when we first got <laughs> right, on with them, were, right. and um, they uh, worked with each other, worked on each other, and did the points. And Paul and I were like, "Oh boy, they you, get it." You know, it's and wonderful. it shows you, even though they said it in German, watching them do that and move their fingers mm -hmm. to the right points. Mm -hmm. You knew they had it. You knew. It's a universal language in this touch. Yes, yes. I, I totally agree. takes us to the question, oh. how is BioTouch an art form? So how do you want to start us well, off with I, that? Well, I would like to say the reason that I think we're doing this today is because yesterday at um, in one of our classes that Paul was presenting, he just pipes up with this, well, you know, BioTouch is an art form. <laughs> and... I thought, whoa, that's, and I, I actually said to the class, wow, that, that, that was profound. We need to pursue this. Um, but you, you told me that that's not a new thought for you. You know, we'd actually had it way back in the beginning. And, and I think it becomes important to talk about why this it is considered more of an art form than a healing technique. Mm -hmm. Technique seems mm -hmm. to lock you into particular forms and steps and and though we have that which will go over the two parts of it right uh we looked up the definition of art as a skill acquired by experience study or observation mm. like they talked about the art of making friends so yeah. the art of doing healing becomes better than a, a healing technique so biotouch is an art form of healing and yeah and and with that thought i'm thinking well so how does when you touch lightly on the skin, how does that relate to an art form? Well, art is a creative process that's innate in us. Our whole being is here to create and to progress and to evolve and to become self-aware. 
And so, oh, that made perfect sense to me then. Yeah, and it's sort of like, you know, I was always upset at the art classes I took, and it was nice hearing Sarah, who's an artist, yes. in, the yeah. in the certification, mm -hmm. because I'd always go in and, uh, and they'd say, draw this thing. And so you would draw something, and then they analyzed it and graded you on it. I know. And I always thought... And so it stopped your creativity. And because what I you weren't free to right. create yourself. Exactly. And what I like about BioTouch is, yes, here are some steps. And then how do we move to allowing you to perform your own creativity? So we're going to read a part from our manual. This is in the preface. We have two parts. Right. One is so, from the preface and one the epilogue will do later. But here's from, the, from our manual. And we'll show you the so picture. So this is the more practical side of what we are um, offering through BioTouch. And it says, from our preface, this manual and the classes taught in conjunction with it are offered to encourage more people to participate in the healing process of family and friends by learning a simple and effective healing method. The instruction in this manual is only a beginning. Anyone who learns these procedures will be effective in relieving the distress of their fellow human beings. That is Let's read the last results too, yeah. may inspire an associate to touch other points. Yes, in addition to the ones explained in this manual, which each associate is encouraged to follow. Well, that just kind of leads us into then what we're what we're talking about today. Right. And I would like to read you something from our epilogue in our manual that says, "Know thyself." Every human being is the vehicle of his own destiny. Each is free to venture into some elegant area of thought and peer with yearning trepidation into the obscure shadows. Those who refrain from this liberty will live an ordinary life. The ordinary provides no favor favorable climate for progress. The manifestation of creation is extraordinary. Extraordinary. So oh, how does that, that apply? I mean, how does it apply to biotech? I mean, from the beginning one, it's just that idea of points come to us. You know, that we, t we spent a lot of time in that class mm -hmm. allowing the students to do the enhancements and the local work. You know, here's the basic set of points, like the neck. Basic set of points. Right. But how do you then move into observing and listening with that recipient and having other points come to you that you can do. Yeah, so right in that, this whole system um, allows us to be free to create and to, you know, let those other points in those enhancements and extra work just flow into us. That That's what creation is. It's a spontaneous opening to a, a you know, a cre creation of something, and you know, it's interesting. You trust it, right? It, it it's like uh, Sarah said; she's very pragmatic, mm -hmm. right, and doesn't like to believe in a lot of woo, what she called woo woo stuff. But she's an artist and does yeah. this amazing artwork that is sort of way out there. It is. And when we asked her, well, so how do you do art? And she just sort of was taken back. She says, well, I just sort of let it come to me, and I put it on the paper, and we're like, oh, oh. that's not woo-woo. Yeah, right. <laughs> Some people might think it was. But but that's exactly how we present biotech, the same way Sarah, as an artist, does her painting. Yeah. You know, so the canvas, in a sense, is the person we're working with. There's the canvas, and, and we have their diagnosis, and we have a set of points. Okay, they come in with a heart problem, so we do the heart set. But all of a sudden, there might be other things that that body and that person are holding on to that because we do our observation and scanning, we then start doing other points. The fingers just start moving to doing other sets or other local points. And it's a little dance. It's a dance on the it body. Is. <laughs> it is. And it's creating um, a sense of being free in both the recipient and the practitioner, because when the when the practitioner feels more confident in performing BioTouch, those points, then you can begin to really trust yourself and open to that flowing in of creating. And, and really, you're, you're, you're in some relationship, uh, and 
a relationship with that recipient. You are, it, you're touching their body and creating, it's almost like I think of BioTouch as a, a custom health or healing type of thing. It's a, it's a custom art form in the sense that in that moment, you are creating um, an expression of love by, by just trusting yourself and letting those new points or a new right. way, you know, come to you. And, and the nice thing is you can't make a mistake. So, you know, there's no, you know, as an art form, there's no mistake. And so you can't hurt anybody. You can't do the wrong point. You can't do too many points. You know, you can only do whatever comes at that time. And some of the points may work and some may not, but you'll never know. You'll never know. But <laughs> you don't have anybody standing there going, oh, I'm not so sure that was the right thing to do. Well, and people ask us in the class, they'll, they'll always take the class and they'll go, well, now, can I do? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And what do you, what do you always Can say? I do this? Can I do And you go, yes. If you think it, if it comes to your brain right. to think, I wonder if I could do this, or I wonder if Bev would let me do this. <laughs> well, basically. Yes. Then yeah. it's, it's, yes. You yeah. know, if it comes to your mind, you just do it. And that's so freeing, and it is so creative. It's the manifestation of creation yeah, is extraordinary. Yeah, in that moment, we are free. We are really liberated to just, but isn't that, since, you know, we know that creativity is just innate in us, that's what love is in that moment. Right. We are just in the presence of it. It's very profound and powerful. And, and in a sense, that's what distinguishes BioTouch from a lot of the other healing techniques. Yeah. Not that these techniques aren't Viable effective and, and, and work sure, and things like that. But sure. A lot of times they take uh, a lot of practice. Uh, they take a lot of knowledge. Acupuncture, you can't just go do that. You really have to know what you're doing. Oh, you have to put in a lot uh, of time, Chiropractic too. work. Yeah. You know, a lot of these energy <clears throat> modalities where you have to learn different areas of the body you're working on and those are all fine but bio touches you know as an art form fits under the healing techniques but allows people to participate in healing beyond that manual here's our manual right here exactly. boom here's the points there's 17 sets of points you can go online download this for becoming a member it's the whole system and in there it even shows you how to do some of the enhancements and local work. Well, you know, it's the same as, as eventually becoming a fine artist. There are certain basic right. procedures and things that you learn, you know, about art. Well, yeah. It's and like, then what? Then you get to... Right. It's like the same with our manual. We talked yesterday about, you know, you learn that, okay, this is called green, and yeah. this is called red, right. and this is called purple. Now, those are the colors that you've defined. But if you want to draw your picture and you're drawing a tree and you want to make that tree purple, that's up to you. That's your expression. Yeah. Once you've learned the different colors. You that's can, right. You can choose whichever color you want yeah. to make the tree. And it's the same with this right. manual. It is, you know, giving you those basic tenets on what BioTouch is and how you perform it. And then guess what? You get to... Right. Color the whole Color picture. <laughs> yeah. Any way you want. You can go outside the lines too, folks. Oh, <laughs> Remember that? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Stay within the, within the lines. <laughs> With your tongue hanging out. Right. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, you know, in Colorado, you know, I did this presentation. Here I am, the man, you know, met Norman, 30 years doing this. And, and somebody very seriously said, so really, we need to know, are you getting new points? Are you receiving yeah. new points? Uh, which is one of the downfalls that happened with Norman because people went to him for the new points. Mm -hmm. And I said to that person, yes, I do. And so will you the very first time you do it. Yeah. And empowering people to do that. You don't have to come to me. You don't have to go to Bev. You have it within you, just like we, we read from the epilogue. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's innate in yeah. us. You're it's, already it's, that artist. Yes. Yeah, that it, creator. It's extraordinary. Yeah, so it let's is. let's share with you another set of points because we want to teach you how to do BioTouch. Yes. Here's our manual. Mm -hmm. We're going to just show you a little bit of the shoulder set. So here we go. The shoulder set may be used to address conditions affecting the shoulders, such as general pain, arthritis, and bursitis. The shoulder set is performed in three distinct steps. Each step 
uses a different hold point in conjunction with a different sweep. All three sweeps end at E, which is at the tip of the shoulder. Step 1. Hold point 1, which is just below the tip of the shoulder. With the other hand, sweep along line 1A, beginning at the center of the neck at the base of the skull. Sweep down the neck to the top of the big bone, then turn and continue across the back of the muscle at the top of the shoulder, ending at E. Step 2. Hold point 2, which is located on the back of the shoulder, at the soft area just below the shoulder bone and directly above the armpit. It is approximately halfway between the top of the armpit and the top of the shoulder. With the other hand, sweep along line 2A beginning at the center of the neck at the base of the skull. Sweep down the back directly on the spine to a point just above the bottom of the shoulder blade. Sweep up and across the shoulder blade, ending your sweep again at E. For step 3, hold point 3, which is located on the front of the shoulder, just below the shoulder bone, directly above the armpit. It is approximately halfway between the top of the armpit and the top of the shoulder. With the other hand, sweep along line 3A, beginning on the muscle behind and beneath the earlobe. Sweep down the neck and across the front of the muscle at the top of the shoulder, ending again at E. Although pain or distress... There you go. There's one set of the shoulder. You always do the other mm -hmm. side and then just local work if you want. If you just have a tip, you know, you can just touch through it, right. around it. That's where the creativity comes yeah. in. That's the basic set of points. And then from there, you can just locally touch wherever it's a problem. Mm -hmm. You can go online, download the manual with the DVD. It's an ebook version, and it has links to the video on it, justtouch.com. And we're talking today about how is BioTouch an art form? And, and before we close up here again, we want to read from the epilogue, because it, it just sort of puts into words uh, why we call BioTouch an art form healing. So go ahead and read that paragraph okay, again. Okay, I'm going to read it again. Know thyself. Every human being is the vehicle of his own destiny. Each is free to venture into some elegant area of thought and peer with the yearning trepidation into the obscure shadows. Those who refrain from this liberty will live an ordinary life. The ordinary provides no favorable climate for progress the manifestation of creation is extraordinary. So and you're a, extraordinary. You are. And we love you. And yeah. we want you to do biotouch. Bio <laughs> and so does everybody in your life. Yes. We really want you to do biotouch. It's an extraordinary, you know, experience the extraordinariness. Yeah. <laughs> if that's even a word. I don't know, but it sounds okay. <laughs> of life and creation. You know, mm -hmm. we're all here on the planet together. We all live in fear. We very seldom remember that we're loved. And this is just a great love to remind each other that we're loved. Thank you for letting yourself be loved. Yes. Thank you for letting yourself Thank be you loved. Thank you for letting yourself <laughs> love, be loved and for loving me. Oh, there you go. Thank so you. what we want to do is we want to take you on a tour of some of the places that the book, BioTouch Healing with the Power in Our Fingertips by Deborah Schildhaus, and here it is there, has written and we've had pictures from around the world and we are in, going to include it from a song written by Horace Barnes uh, about the Tucson Center. And so we're going to use him and we consider the Tucson Center really the heart. It is. You know, from which we expand around the world to teach biotech. Yes. Okay. So we appreciate you joining us today. Of today. course. Thank yes. you, Bev. Thank you, Paul. And thank you, everyone. <laughs> All around to the sun, they come here every day. They do a lot of touching and they do it without pain. They all do it gladly because they are so sweet. Bless the staff of practitioners down on Pima Street. Once